Leo. Welcome or welcome back to Heretic Owl Tarot. My name is Liz. We are talking about mid-February. So um, just some inspirational messages to get us through the rest of the shorter month if needed. And um, as with last month, I'm just going to kind of cleanse the space. So if there's any um, anything that you would like to be cleansed, throw it in the bowl. Any energies, thoughts, um, behaviors, patterns, anything, throw it in there um, and we'll get it cleansed for you. I'm going to do this three times, so just be aware of that if you're wearing headphones. And here we go. Beautiful. That feels better. So <laughs> it's just kind of interesting, um, kind of as I've probably mentioned before, like before I actually start recording um, for each sign, I'll, you know, like shuffle the deck a bunch of times and um, just kind of connect to the light beings and the guides and everybody that I um, kind of hope to work with. And <clears throat> there was this one that was coming through and it was just like this ball of fire. It's really just interesting. Um, I know, I believe that like the sun card is generally the card of Leo um, for the major arcana. And that's almost kind of like how it felt like <laughs> just this big ball of a fire and it you know I mean it was definitely very positive um but I mean you know like that could just be um an energy that you've been working with or um trying to work with um over the last little while here it could just be an energy that's going to be um, present for you, um, you know, for as long as needed, you know, going forward. Um, it's just kind of interesting because it just kind of, it just kind of like showed up. So, um, and I know that it's a good thing too, because I mean, I put up protections around these readings too. So it's definitely not a negative. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> Um, we don't, I'm not working like with a spread for these messages. My intention is just for a card or two to come out. Um, I kind of want these messages to be a bit like on the shorter and sweet side. Um, so the card does need to fall out of the deck. If it flips in the deck, we'll just flip it over and keep it moving. I don't shuffle, um, reversals into, um, my decks, but of course if the card falls out and it ends up in the reverse, we'll keep it in the reverse. And um, I think that's it. I feel like I keep missing something, but I think that's it. So what is the, oh, I thought that there was a card that had flipped. Whoop, whoop. Okay. <laughs> Are my hands just, they're just not wanting to work. Sorry. What is the inspiration, mid-month inspiration for Leo? Page of Pentacles and Unknown. Interesting. So the Page of Pentacles talks about um, kind of being in the role of an apprentice. Um, you know, the Pentacles talk, or the air, or excuse me, the earth. <laughs> uh, 
Um, simple, all of a sudden my words are gone. My hands aren't working. Like, okay, we have a ding going on back here. So, <laughs> Um, what an interesting ride so far. And then to have, you know, kind of that energy of that, um, fireball kind of coming through. Um, so the page of pentacles is being in an apprentice role. So, um, you know, and it's with the pentacles, it talks about, um, our resources, how we make an income. It talks about our money. It talks about our physical body in the 3d. Um, so you could be, um, starting a new position with work. You could be, um, but all of that aside, like I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting this energy of you just kind of floating in the unknown. It's like, just kind of floating through space. It's almost like you're you're waiting for um, the thing to come to you. Like you're not putting in any work to move towards something. Like we have this um, this figure in the tree with their guitar, right? Chilling. Um, there's nothing really. <laughs> it's not like they're like putting in work towards anything, right? Like just. Hanging out in the tree, we have these two kind of figures um, in the bark of the tree. And that just um, kind of like it feels a little bit like, um, you know, even spirit guides or guardian angels. Um, but it's like you're you're all chilling. <laughs> and then we have the unknown, which I mean, it really just kind of talks about anything being possible. It's like. Um, here's, you know, like kind of the crystal ball. Um, it's almost like, you know, she's kind of offering it and it's kind of like, what do you want to do? Like, and then we have the high priestess underneath that. And the high priestess talks about, um, you know, like, um, being in tune with our star player, um, like really being connected to ourselves, but also really being like, um, connected directly to um to our higher selves or you know if you believe in the divine source god um you know if you have a belief in any of those th beings or energies um and again you know it's just kind of like these are all even she's just kind of standing there on this um crescent moon it's like whatever it is needs to come to me now. Like I'm, I'm the light, like I'm, you know, like the, that fireball that, um, is going to attract, um, the moths or whatever. Not that, you know, I mean, moths aren't a bad thing, but it's like, I'm just going to be my bright, shiny, um, Leo self <laughs> and, the things that are correct for me are going to come to me. I'm not, I'm no longer going to it, um, which is absolutely true. I mean, really, um, in the grand scheme of things, that is really all that we need to do is sit in our authenticity and really, you know, focus on those things that do light us up. Focus on those things that um, we love and enjoy and just kind of make time pass without even recognizing like all of a sudden it's four o'clock in the afternoon and you're like what the fuck like it was nine in the morning two seconds ago right like so focusing and really honing in on those skills um those are the things that you know like people are just going to be attracted to that like that's how you know like the whole manifestation process works it's you know kind of standing in your in your truth and really honing in on what that truth is. And, you know, it's these kind of outside sources being like, oh, hey, you know, like that's the energy that I want to interact with. That's the energy that I've been looking for for this project. Um, that person um, is, you know, like the person that could, um, you know, help me grow my business, whatever it is. You know, I'm, I'm trying to think of pentacles because again, 
with pentacles. It's having the resources. It's our, um, you know, our physical body. It has to do with our health. Um, but it also kind of has to do with like playing around with those energies. And um, even just, you know, these two beings right here, like that, that could be clients um, that are just kind of being attracted to your energy almost too. So it could be your first two clients if you kind of launched like a business. Um, that could very well be it also. But there's like so much beauty in the unknown. Like there's so much possibility in um, in the unknown and just kind of, you know, like allowing yourself to just kind of be in the space and, um, you know, just just knowing that the possibilities are endless and um, they're going to show up for you. Absolutely. I love that. I am going to leave it there. Thank you so much, Leo. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.